Hello everybody and uh, welcome back to my vlog, to my channel. Uh, I just wanted to show you something quick here. And that's in regards to some of these these chips you get. These are the TDA 7294s. And I want to show you the difference between what you can get off eBay and what the actual genuine ones look like. So first of all, I'm going to... Because the reason why I had to buy some genuine ones is because of these actual chips let's just zoom in there a bit if we can and get that to go over to this um, and you get to see the markings are relatively so I'm going to take a peek at that um, one of the things that does give it away sometimes is when you see on the back let me just wipe this off because I know there's some knock on the back of here and you see on the backs of these things, this is a uh, Arctic MX4 um, non-conductive, non-conductive um, thermal coupling paste. And you tend to use this sort of stuff with CPUs, and I've always found it to be great. Um, so on the back of there, I mean that doesn't look too bad, but you can see the sort of shape that it is. Yeah, you can see the sort of shape that it is. It's hard to tell what sort of condition these uh, legs are in, but they don't look particularly too bad. Now, let's just put that to one side and let's open up this packet here. This is a bought off eBay that was my first thought on just replacing these inside here but then I thought to myself after I'd ordered them I thought well it's 16 blooming pins per per one so that's going to be a bit of a pain job anyway uh, so rather than do this and then find myself regretting it find myself regretting it um, let's get some genuine ones now the first thing I'm going to point out is the state of that all right now as we can see let me just get the light right here so we can get a better view of this I'm just trying to get that into a better view. It's quite hard for me to see. What's on this? It's harder for the camera to pick it up. But see, you get to see that these markings look, you know, okay. But it's the rest of it. I mean, look at these legs, look. Whatever that is that's on them, that's making them look like that. I think it's just part of the the processing whether they're not cleaned properly or or whatever's going on so there's a general indication I don't know what this black is I'm just trying to see if I can scratch that off or whether that is what's actually under the metal now let's just take a peek at another one random one just Oh wow, that's even worse. So, hmm. So we can see that the manufacturing process doesn't look to be that great. I mean, these are supposed to be new. They don't look like they've been used before, but they look like... Oh, they just don't look that great. Now, here's a couple of brand new ones from Farnell provided in a box and they uh, let me just pack them out of it for the box anti-static now I shouldn't be too let me just slip a little anti-static thing on now that's the nice thing about this right is there's two in here now these are not cheap these are like between 10 11 pounds and they're not cheap if anyone's wondering whether um, I'm protecting these from the static 
have a bracelet on. And we can look at this here. And we can see, first of all, we can tell that it's much easier for the camera to see in on this. And um, I'm going to actually push that zoom in now. Much easier for us to see the markings. And the whole thing just looks nicer. Looking around at the tab as well. I don't know if this is just because it's not polished off, whether that's supposed to be polished or not. But the legs, look at the legs. There's no decoration on the back. Let's just remind ourselves of what one of these ones looks like. On the back. It's completely different. I mean, it looks like it's the same. But it's, you know, genuine. You pay for, and this, or maybe there's a difference, you know, one's just produced cheaper, and the other one's produced more expensive. But I've got a funny feeling what you can't see as well. Look, so I'm trying to get the markings to show up on these. Just see if we can just tilt that at a different angle. There we go. So we can also see then that even though these markings seem to be in the correct place, they're not as well marked as the definite genuine mark. But it's the whole process is just cheaper. So if that's what it looks like on the outside, what they're happy for you to see. You can imagine what the state of it's going to be on the inside. I mean, you can just imagine that, because I'm not going to break one of these apart to find out. That is not what I'm about to do. I mean, I don't mind breaking one of these so much, but I'm not going to, and I'm definitely not going to break one of these to do a comparison. Like I said, I think I've paid £11 each for these. Just to see what they're like. But there you go. A little bit of a look. And we'll see how this performs. Let me just back out again. How this performs when I've swapped out these ones that just didn't really give much of an output at all um, for these. And hopefully, I you know, shouldn't sound too bad there you go anyway guys thanks for watching and uh i'll catch you next one i'm gonna live it give you a little bit of a show of what's going on here so i got one circuit down there just waiting for some transistors to come in so i wanted to use genuine transistors in it and these are the transistors for it we got a couple over there to get on with and there's one over the back down there in the middle of the screen it's useless <laughs> that I was going to show you, but then, you know, it is useless, so there's no point, or maybe I should just to say don't bother buying it, it's one of those ones that's just no good at all.